For many content creators and YouTubers, one of the most frustrating thing has been trying to get the sound right. Now maybe you're just starting off by recording into your phone or with the onboard mic on your camera, but largely you are disappointed with the sound quality of your recorded voice and the noisy background sounds that the omnidirectional mic in your phone or camera picks up, making a mess of your recording. You might also have upgraded your setup to include an audio interface or a camera mic, but still the sound, the noise remains and you're still not getting the settings right. Now today, I'm going to share with you a mic that will help you get things right from the moment you unbox it for a price. Now, I'm introducing the Joby Wavo Pro today. It costs 300 US dollars and so it's not exactly cheap, but if you value the ease of getting things right after spending the money, this is probably a mic that should make your short list. Mics have been very standard since sound recording and reproduction has been invented 150 years ago. The working principles have largely stayed the same. Now there's a diaphragm which is moved by the air pressure changes when you speak into the mic and the diaphragm moves a magnet through an electrical coil which generates small voltage changes and you're recording the voltage changes and therefore you have a sound recording. Now while the working principles are the same, have stayed the same for the last 150 years, uh, the electronics that comes after the mic capsule itself has evolved. Now, there are pre-amplifiers that are gotten much cleaner and there's a multitude of processing that can happen to a recorded signal that will help you sound incredibly good. Now, so far, I've not shown you the actual Joby Wavo Pro mic itself and that's because I'm actually recording on it. So you're hearing the mic, just that you're not seeing it yet. It's mounted right on top of the camera now, and it's positioned about two feet away from where I am. Now I'm going to be switching back to my regular setup with a Rode NTG mic, Rode NTG5 shotgun mic pack with a Rodecaster Pro 2. Now that setup costs a few times more than the Joby Wavo Pro itself. Now you can hear for yourself the differences in the sound in the studio. Now it will sound different, but bear in mind you're still getting great quality from a setup that's like one third the price of the setup that I'm currently running with the Rode setup. So let's change over. So now you're listening to the setup from the Rodecaster Pro 2 so that I can show you the Wavo Pro from Joby. Now this Joby mic is going to replace the entire functionality of the Rode NTG5 shotgun mic when paired with the Rodecaster Pro 2. And as I go on, you will understand why I say that's the case and maybe that $300 that you're paying for this Joby Wavo Pro mic isn't too much to ask for all the functionalities that it brings to the table. Now, when you get the Joby Wavo Pro, the first thing you're going to note is that you're not going to have to spend money on an audio interface, right? In other words, this is a powered mic and you won't have to send the mic to a preamplifier or an audio interface to increase the gain for your recording. So yes, the 300 US dollars that you're spending on a mic is already saving you on some other pieces of equipment. Now, Joby itself, they have been catering to the photography and the videography users for many years. And while they have been producing some solid camera gear, they're mostly mechanical in nature and Joby has not dabbled in electronics. Now, this mic and the whole slew of the other mics that they are launching together with the Wavo Pro is their first foray into electronics and it might serve you well to be wary of their initial attempts. I've used the Wavo Pro on occasions over the past month or two, right? Including a family trip, which I brought it along with my DSLR camera. The short summary to this video is that it is indeed a very capable run and gun sort of microphone, which a vlogger or a content creator on the move will find very useful. Now, let me give you a rundown of the feature set and you will get a better idea of why this will work for you if you're considering an upgrade to your recorded voice while you are on the move. The Wavo Pro is a shotgun style condenser microphone that sits on top of your camera body with a hot shoe mounting bracket 
that is included. Now there is an integrated shock mount, it's made by Rycord and with that brand name behind the shock mount, you will be getting one of the best suspension system for a camera mounted mic. Now this will help to reduce any thumping sounds that it makes, uh, that makes its way into your recording when you are walking or running around with the camera, uh, when the mic mounted on the camera. Now right off the box, it comes with a foam shield which is already attached, so it helps to cut down on the wind noise. Now if the wind is too strong, Joby also provides a wind jammer or dead cat which you can put over the foam shield to further reduce and cut down on the wind noise. So without the foam shield, you can see the interference tube that extends about 3 inches in front of the mic capsule. Now in simple terms, an interference tube here, it uses mechanical principles of how sound travels and bounces around to cut down on the sounds that is coming from the side. Therefore, the mic itself is a directional microphone and it is sensitive to sounds directly in front of the mic. It captures less of the sound coming from the sides and the back. So it captures less of your environment and focuses the pickup on the subject directly in front of the camera or the mic wherever the mic is pointing to. Besides mechanical noise rejection with the Rycord shock mouth, the foam shield, the dead cat and the interference tube, the mic, it also deploys active noise cancellation and that's where all the electronics come out. And yep, there is a sound processor that is on board this mic. Now, if you are outdoor or in environments where you cannot control the ambient sound levels or are walking and running with the mic, turning this feature on will reduce the lower frequency range along with the handling noise and vibrations caused by movement of the mic. The mic itself has a preamp that is built in. If you're connecting this to a DSLR camera, remember to turn down the mic amplification on your camera to the lowest levels and then set the levels after you set the gain control on the mic. There's a physical switch to do it, uh, which allows you to quickly um, click and set plus 10 dB or plus 20 dB just by the button on the side of the uh, mic itself. Now just take note that after setting this and the camera mic levels, it should hit about minus 12 dB on the camera at the peak. So that's the target that you want to hit. Now should you be worried that you might set the levels too high or an unexpected loud sound or voice clips your recording, the mic also has a safety track feature that is built in by clicking a button on the cam on the mic itself, you are able to then record a second track at minus 10 dB on the right track so that you can use that track in post-production should you unexpectedly clip the sound recording. The sound levels can actually be monitored by the LED lights on the back of the camera. Now, green levels means okay, orange lights up when it's close to clipping levels and you should definitely avoid red as it would have exceeded the dynamic range of the mic. Now, keep an eye on the LED indicator and lower the gain if necessary because clipped recording levels are no fun. Test, 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 test. Light, light, orange, orange, good. So the mic is powered by an internal battery and a single charge is good for about 50 hours of recording. Now this is a lot of recording time and it would be safe to assume that you're not going to be caught with a dead battery if you were just to charge it every week or every fortnight or so. Now of course you can get more or less depending on your usage patterns. Now if you do need to charge it in the field, it accepts a USB-C type input and a quick 30 minutes charge will give you 8 hours of use, more than enough for an entire day of intensive shooting. Now in any case, the LED indicator on the power button allows you to visually tell the charge level. Solid green means you have enough battery. A slow blinking green means 4 to 6 hours left and at that point in time, you should definitely want to charge before you head out for a full day of shooting. And if it is a faster blinking LED light, you're down to less than 4 hours, which is still quite a bit actually. So one of the problems with uh, powered mics is that I forget to turn it off after recording and the battery starts to drain itself and the moment that you need to use it next, you realize that you are out of battery. Now the Volvo Pro has an auto off function that will turn itself on and off with your camera and this function has worked reliably 
every single time for the entire time that I was using the Joby Volvo Pro. And all that is required is a 3.5mm phono cable which connects the mic on one end and the camera on the other end through the external mic input port. Now the other way of connecting this mic is to use the USB-C port. The port allows you to connect to your computer or your laptop to act actually as a mic. Now in other words, you will be able to upgrade the mic recording on your computer too, say for Zoom calls, right? As of 2023, this is still going to be a thing. So there's an audio interface that is built into this mic. Now remember that I said that the Volvo Pro is a directional mic with a super cardioid pickup pattern. This means that when you're filming the subject which is directly in front of you, it won't pick up your voice very well because you're going to be behind the microphone. Now this mic actually allows you to record from a second mic and it will mix it in together with the recorded track. So for example, if you are able to connect a lavalier mic or a lapel mic, uh, so you can get an additional pickup source because you're gonna be standing behind, you put the lavalier mic itself. The mic itself has a mixer that will expand the input selection on the camera to two mics. The possibilities are endless and you could even connect a wireless mic solution like the Rode Wireless Go 2, which technically can connect two more wireless mic modules, making a total of three mic sources. Now the secondary input can be recorded onto a separate track, the right track, or it can be mixed into the primary mic. The convenience will cut down on the post-processing time and ultimately it depends on your own workflow and the purpose of the secondary mic. Now at this point in time, we have covered quite a bit of the mic and you would think that this is probably worth the asking price of 300 US dollars, but no. We are not done yet. There's still a feature on this mic, which is an uncommon feature. Now, if you look at the button below the power button, you will notice that, oh, let me see if you can catch it here. Yep, here you go. There is a Bluetooth logo printed on the button. And guess this mic has Bluetooth and it can be connected to your phone via Bluetooth. Note that it is not to serve as a Bluetooth wireless mic, but as a form of mic control through the mobile app. Now using the Joby Wavo Pro iOS or Android app, and it opens up a whole new level of functions and control over the mic. Now, most of the functions are served by the buttons on the mic itself, and they are replicated on the app itself. So it becomes a lot easier to check the various settings on the mic, but it is also a lot more accurate. For example, instead of just the LED lights showing battery levels, you can actually see the actual battery percentage on the app itself of the mic, right? Even the audio levels can be monitored live on the app with a sound level meter. And better yet, there are functions that are not available on the mic itself unless you connect it to the app via Bluetooth. Now you can set the LED indicator brightness all the way from 0% to 20 to 40% and all the way up to 100%. Now this is useful if you are recording in a dim environment and the LED lights are too bright interfering with your scene lighting. Active noise reduction is also turned on and off through the app itself. And the killer feature that I need to tell you guys about, this mic has EQ. Now there are two EQ interfaces. In the basic mode, you'll be able to set the low cut filter and apply more or less warm clarity or presence to the recorded voice. This represents the low, the mids and the high frequency bands. But if you really know what you are doing, now there is an advanced interface. In the advanced interface, you can set the low cut filter to kick in from say 20 Hertz all the way up to 300 Hertz. And more importantly, the advanced interface opens up a four band parametric equalizer. Now, if you have problematic frequencies that you need or want to tune out or increase, you can set the exact frequency and you can set the gain or reduction for that frequency. And even the Q factor is available for adjustments. Now, Q factor determines how narrowly you want the EQ to affect the frequency it could affect more or less of the frequencies around the exact frequency that you are tuning for by increasing or decreasing the Q factor. Now, at this point, I do realize that this feature is already well beyond most casual vloggers or content creators. But if you know what that means, what this 
parametric EQ means. Rest assured that you're going to be very well covered in terms of adjustability of this professional level mic, which can actually be very easy to use if you don't unlock these features. In fact, I have a $700 Rodecaster Pro sound mixer in front of me right now, which you're listening to, right, which has a parametric EQ. Now, it has three band parametric EQ, right? I can select the three bands. The Wavo Pro has four parametric EQ bands. So if you're a content creator and you want to level up your audio gear, really do consider dropping your money on this mic. Now it will serve you well for many years to come and truly this mic justifies the Pro moniker in the product name. It is truly a Pro level product and this mic just really combines a sound mixer, a processor, an audio interface into a single device for your camera. Now, this truly is a mic that I think is worth its asking price. So I know that you guys are following my channel for content on wireless audio products and mostly about soundbars and subwoofers and speakers, right? But occasionally I do cover other products which I think is worth covering. So that's my review for this superb mic offering from Joby and I hope that you have found it useful and I will see you in my next video.